Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and this is our underwater sand waterfall project. Um, what you are looking at right now is an uncompleted process, but I just wanted to show you an update. So those of you who follow the channel and who are regular watchers, I figure you'd probably want to see this before it's completed. So here you go. I did take some PVC and it helped my molding and sculpting and kind of save material cost. We did use the green foam for sculpting and I used the PVC pipes, heated it with the heat gun. So I cut it in half with the bandsaw and then that way I could glue the one end in still and mold it so it would hold it in place. So. There is that. Now, let me explain this a little bit more because you're probably looking at this going, what the heck is this mess? But <clears throat> this is what's going to happen. Okay, this is going to get flipped over when it's done and this will be inside the tank. I'm just using the bulkhead, you know, in the drain for measurement purposes. Okay, so I put them in place just so I can mold them. Um, this is just a one-off project. This is not something we're going to duplicate. But this piece up top, I'm going to put some slits in it. And this is going to be our overflow drain for the tank. It's going to go all the way down into our refugium, into the stand over here. So for the time being, uh, we did our plumbing. There's our return line. You can see it. It goes up there. This is going to be viewable from all sides. So this is one of the reasons why we designed the tank like this. So you not only do you have the sand coming through, so your water's coming in, it's getting picked up from the bottom, shot all the way up top. It's gonna to be coming out this open hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole over here. So you're gonna have waterfalls all over. It may not work. This is just a fun project. Um, I could have done a simple design, but anyone who knows me knows I never do anything simple. Um, that would be a waste of time, I guess, and creativity. <laughs> but, but there you go. So anyway, once it's done, I will finish this today. This is my goal, you know, to finish molding this. I have to mold these rocks real quick. I was just going to use this rock, but dude, it's like calcified coral from a billion years ago. It weighs like 20 pounds and will break any drill bit. This stuff's unbelievable. If anyone's ever picked up a piece of this like fossilized coral, you'll know what I mean. You, you can't cut it. Even a diamond saw, it has trouble and will break your blades. So. So that's that. Um, that's my quick update. Uh, stay tuned for more to follow. I am going to do a complete start to finish video, but this is just a sneak peek for you guys. And if all goes well, I'll make a larger one. But I have like 50 nozzles coming out of here, so we'll see. The sand may not run down my little channels. I got crisscrosses going and then floating rocks over here. So this may not work out the way I want to, but gonna do something it's gonna look good for at least 30 seconds until the sand clogs or something happens but <laughs> there you guys go that's my morning update stay tuned as always thanks for watching happy reefing until next time if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and share with a friend and thank you for being part of the coralist community